Hello and welcome, I'm your host KB and you're watching The Retrospective. Dinosaurs was a TV series produced by Deke Entertainment and released in 1987. Now admittedly, The Dinosaurs is a bit before my time, but I discovered the show when browsing the local video store and I found two beat up VHS tapes. Being the cartoon geek that I was, I was fascinated by the concept and I wondered how I'd never heard of The Dinosaurs. <laughs> One of those trashy novels, huh? Quiet, you imbecilosaurus! This is a show forgotten by most, and that's because by all accounts it was considered a failure. It lasted only one season, but it did include an impressive 65 episode run. The show revolves around two warring factions of anthropomorphic dinosaurs, who come from another Earth-like planet known as Reptilon. It's essentially Transformers, but with dinosaurs instead of robots. The Dinosaurs and their leader, Allo, are the heroes of this series. With the help of four teens known as the Secret Scouts, they combat the villainous counterparts, the Tyrannos, led by the evil Genghis Rex. Now all I have to do is send Terex a ransom message and set up an exchange for the girl. Do you think she'll go for it? If she ever wants to see her miserable friend again, she will. <laughs> as expected, there were some wacky aspects of the show, such as the dinosaurs dinovolving into their prehistoric forms. But this was abandoned later in the series. The show was designed to be the next big property of the 80s, much like He-Man and the Masters of the Universe and Transformers was before it. There was even an extensive toy line plan featuring characters and vehicles from the show, but the plug was pulled just before production started and this was due to the show's poor ratings. I'm not quite sure why the show failed to capture a mainstream audience. The show was well animated and acted, the character designs were all unique, and to me quite captivating. The stories were typically goofy, but still fun, and they didn't feel lacking in comparison with other hit shows of the era. Just the idea of dinosaurs from outer space, while ridiculous, is intriguing, and seems to me like it would have fit in perfectly in the 80s. To the general public, the show is just a forgotten relic of the 80s, but there is still a small, hardcore, cult-type following for the show, which to me is amazing to see. Of all aspects of the show, my absolute favourite thing about it was the intro. It featured a cool animated sequence, a nice narration which helps set up the premise of the show, and personally one of my all-time favourite theme songs from the 80s and 90s, which is just epic. We used to be four ordinary teenagers, until one day, we met some new friends from out of town. They were called Dinosaurs. My friends and I became the secret scouts, allies to these dinosaurs from outer space. Now there were rumours circulating years ago about a possible rebirth for the series. But there was never really any credible info provided to prove that the show really was in production. Although I am a fan of the original series and would love to see it brought back, I think that due to the failure of the original run and the small fan base it has, it would fail to gain much traction like other reboot hit shows from the era have. Now I look at a show like Thundercats, which while it was a big hit in the 80s, it really failed to gain a new fan base when the show was resurrected in 2011. Thunder, 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 Thundercats, oh! Now anyone interested in the show, all 65 episodes have been uploaded to YouTube, so you can check them out there. There were a couple of VHS tapes released to the series, but they are extremely hard to find. 
As always, thank you for watching the show. Please remember to hit like on the Facebook page and subscribe to my YouTube channel. And I'll catch you guys on the next episode of The Retrospective.